Clement Sombro. Ah, come at ya from the office. And today Ooh. we've got a fun one. Ooh. You know, we've been watching, I've been watching lots of the UK brewers. We featured some on our Homebrew Wednesday. Yes. And, and one of the breweries that we've been seeing a lot of, uh, whether it's, uh, I could probably go through names, uh, one of my favorite names to say is uh, so, Sofa King Drunk. But, uh, so fucking drunk, huh? Hmm. But there, there are many, many others, you know, and uh, like Copzine, etc. that have been doing uh, brews for um, uh, the Brew Dog. And so we got a Brew Dog beer, the Hardcore IPA from Ooh. Brew Dog. And this is a beer from Scotland. Now, how did we get a hold of this? Well, you know, I went wandering around one of my little brew shops. It just happened to be there. Yeah, huh? I just happened to have one. They'd had some others in and they went out fast. This one I was able to get. This one uh, promises to be pretty good. It oh. follows the name of it, Deli. Hardcore IPA. Hardcore. Because, what oh, pours kind of brownish. Because, uh, we're talking, this eh, is a... It's a deep amber. This is an Imperial IPA. It's 9.2% ABV. And it's uh, listed as 150 IBUs. Ooh, hello. And That's the way it. it's talking to me. They, uh, mm, they use uh, they use Centennial, Columbus, and Simcoe. And as they put it, they they hopped it to hell, and then <laughs> dry hopped it to hell. Hopped so, to hell and dry hopped to hell, huh? So uh -huh. it, it pours kind of a, a brownish, you know. It's, color. Well, it's an amber. Yeah, it's an a deep amber, amber, I would say. And mm -hmm. uh, got good light in there. Can't really tell. Yeah, very interesting. It's a clear beer for the most part. Not too much haze. No, it's got some moderate carbonation. So if I spin it, it kind of builds up the head. Leaves a little bit of lacing on there, which uh, is nice. I mean, yeah, a little lacing. The head wasn't too big, but we're no. pouring in the wrong glasses. Right, right. But we got snifters because I really want to smell it. We really want to get the aroma. So let's yes. get the aroma on this. Yeah, let's do this. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Well, you know, right away, you got a lot of, first of all, you got a lot of nice mold character in there. Yeah, tons um, of mold yeah, character. You can, uh, but you've got that nice orange mm. scent coming from the hops off of yes. this, some citrus and orange. Oh, a little bit of floral, mm. floral hop yeah. on that. And caramel. I'm getting like yeah, thank caramel you. Thank off you. that. I did get caramel on that. Wow. Chris, Christian's gotten the sniffles there, so I'm taking the lead on the aroma. Are you getting anything I don't know. else on there? Stupid season changes and you get the sniffles. I got a lot of hoppiness. Do you? I can I can smell the resins in there. Mm. Uh, my mouth is drooling because I'm kind of excited for what might come. But no, I got caramel taste. I yeah, got the yeah. normal yeah the sweetness because it's an imperial, so it's going to be more hops in it, or more, not more hops, but just more more base to it. Yeah. So it's going to have yeah. a sweeter scent to it. Yeah, going to have some sweeter flavors you'd expect. So, well, why don't we get a get a taste on this one? It smells good. Wow. Oh. Wow. Mmm. Well, that's kind of creamy. Now, I don't know how fresh this is or isn't. It was literally picked up from the store and we're, this afternoon and we're drinking it tonight. We wasted no I, no time getting on no, top of it. No, we're not going to screw with this. I was expecting more bitterness. I mean, it is, what, a nine point yeah. two? So, I mean... And I hate to say it, I, I, I can't quite read the date off the bottle I tried. Um, I got a little bit of cardboard taste off it, which I hate to say. Um, but you definitely get a lot of uh, like wet, wet cardboard. We've all heard that before. Then. But you definitely get the like caramel malts off of that. Mm -hmm. Some uh, sweet flavors off of it. I can taste the hops, not as strong as I think they would be. Yeah. 
actually has a sweet but light sweet taste. It's it, it's not overpowered with sweetness. Hold on. It's coming in. Hoppiness. There it is. I've let it sit in my mouth long enough. I'm getting more of the so, Centennial yeah. and Simcoe hops more than the And this is October, so. So we're looking at this bottle, and and we can't quite tell the... Uh, it doesn't give the date that it was bottled. It says, best before... And if I'm reading right, it's 180713, which would be uh, uh, which would be July 18th of 2013. But that makes no sense to me whatsoever on an IPA. That'd be around for a year. Or so, hey, yeah, you know, maybe someone can tell me. It says batch 20. So we got that much to go on. But we're, we're drinking it as soon as we got it. It's That's not as doesn't strike me as high IBUs and all that, which makes me no. think that. It, it might have been bottled a bit sooner, earlier, and we yeah, had too much time in between. That doesn't make sense. Why would you say best before the... Th oh, uh, 2013! Friends in UK, clue us in if you know something different. Um, but we're going to have to get to just kind of judging it for what we've got. <laughs> All right. This, it just isn't as high IBU as we might have expected. It has some nice flavors to it. I won't, I won't say yeah, any different flavors. There. So we got to try to get to rating on this one uh, as an Imperial IPA. You know, I'm starting to have a lot more Imperials. They're starting to all be the same. So you know what? This gets an 85. I mean, it's good, but I mean, I'm just not impressed. I mean, it's tasty, but it wasn't as hoppy as I expected. It had good flavoring, but not as rich or... No, don't be... Oh, my God. So... I don't know. I'm just kind of honestly. There was a little bit of wet cardboard at one point, and it doesn't have the IBU content. Again, I really don't know the bottle date. We drank it right away as soon as we got it. But oh, I just got some cardboard gotta, right now. Yeah, I'm gonna drop this down to like uh, an 86, I think, into that category. Um, I like the caramel flavors. That part's really good, but mm -hmm. it just didn't have the hot profile that I expected. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to say, you know... What 150 this? IBUs. This is a uh, hardcore IPA. Hardcore, yeah. It, it, it wasn't this hardcore. Expectation. <laughs> well, let's do an overall real quick. All right, here we go. You ready? I don't sure. know. Sure. Are you ready? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. I'm going to just do another 85. I like the beer. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I like the beer. I would drink it again. Depends on how much it costs. <laughs> That's how it always... Ends up being is how much it costs. But, uh, uh, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's an 85. I mean, it's in general a good IPA. It has good flavors. It was well done. It just didn't hit like the overall, like, man, I gotta have that again. It's just, it's a good social drinking beer. I'd share it with a buddy and see how he felt. And, and for me, again, um, I'm not the hop head, although I love Imperials as a whole. I like the caramel flavors and everything, as I said before, but... Uh, on overall, I'd say it, I got to drop down to an 83 for me. Um, so, if you've had this, hopefully some of the UK brewers, you know, I don't know, Mr. Grim Viking, or Real Ale Guide, or, you know, Rob with Hop Zine, or, you know, uh, any of you, Mr. Some Drunk, or uh, Sofa King Drunk. Sofa King Drunk. Uh, if, if you've had this fresh, and you're saying we're off, please tell us, we'd like to know. You know, we might just have to fly over the pond and have a beer with y'all. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, vacation. That's what I'm thinking. That sounds that, awesome. That's more than a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> so for Glenn and Stone Brew, this was the Hardcore IPA from Brewdog out of Scotland. Hardcore. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>